another video and here we have the duke 250 today i like the color scheme <laughs> it's quite identical color scheme to my adventure bike so i <laughs> do like it yeah but uh, maybe i don't like the orange rims and just like i say always looks are subjective and looks are purely subjective and a massive shout out to ktm column this is the ktm column showroom so massive 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 huge shout out to them for supporting me in the infancy stages i'll never forget them i don't like the tft display and its position so it just glares at you right on the face so that's it if it was slanted it would have been better yeah i'll use this opportunity if there is a massive not super massive but you can see that thing that is roaming the streets today so there is some kind of traffic today so we'll check out how it is in traffic how smooth it is so this is on second gear i'm cruising at 14 and yeah slow speed seems good let's try to there is engine knocking at third gear in around 20 but still it can pull it so i believe you would have seen the triumph a super short video by now so this is the very next day i'm riding this bike and the handling difference is massive uh, the handling on this one is much better so that's a scrambler anyway so that would also happen see i had a talk about the mirrors in the showroom so i don't know i couldn't find any screws behind the mirror so i have no idea how to adjust this unless you adjust this section with an allen key i'm used to engaging the clutch with just two fingers so i have to get used to engaging the clutch entirely with four fingers otherwise the clutch doesn't compress properly it seems so once that's done i think the gears are a bit smoother the flickability is fantastic and there is not that much power like the 390 and <laughs> there shouldn't be it's a 250 so if you have more mild kind of rider i think you'll find it right at home and i can find the characteristics of the 250 adventure on this as well but in order to understand it fully i have to get an open stretch of road so anyway after filling the fuel we'll get to that other than that so far the observations build quality seems good but with age we'll get to know a few things so i don't want to comment on it it uh, seems on par with the duke 390 the switches the switch gear has, is much better than the adventure series the 250 adventure i'm not talking about 390 okay there is a fuel pump here let's do it here itself Okay, uh, I don't know if you have noticed it, so I tried to start the motorcycle and it was detecting that the side stand was on, but the side stand was not on, so I don't know if there is any issue with the sensor or something, so that's a minor issue, but nevertheless an issue, so I just flipped the stand down and just flipped it up again, so that was solved. I was again confused with the kill switch, so so side stand center was sorry sensor was the issue apparently. A very good city bike to be honest, very good. This can be a perfect lazy bike. You just shift it to fifth gear and ride around in the city in forty, 
yeah, even 38 around 38 km per hour it's there is no engine knocking so yeah smooth that's smooth let's do one thing let's we'll let him go because there is a nice curve over there so i want to try it yeah let's go now so i'm trusting the bike entirely superb superb handling is top notch i think if this can return some nice fuel economy and you have a bigger bike and you like maybe an adventure kind of bike uh, not talking about the uh, 390 250 adventures and the other ones as well like himalayan not that sector if you have a bigger adventure bike maybe like a 650 cc and you want one for the city purely city experiences and maybe short runs to your favorite hill station nearby yes we cleared him then i think this will be a nice bike there is enough power to pull but uh, you don't feel the oom factor like on the 390 so definitely that's lacking okay this these best people are a nightmare here so they'll just honk till you move out of the way fantastic braking nice I'm enjoying it but not as much as the 390 so the engine plays a good role in that definitely don't get me wrong this has enough power to pull you but uh, the thing about the 390 is once you apply the throttle it's just super responsive it's so fun so that kind of fun is not available here that's what i want to make clear but you will have fun nevertheless i like the exhaust not maybe i will do an exhaust note video as well the thing is if you don't mind the fuel economy you can make it almost as fun as the 390 mark my words almost that is not achievable and somehow there are more vibrations on this engine so the 390 was uh, smoother so this has more engine vibes and you can feel it on the foot pegs even at around 3k rpm so on the handlebars as well let's try being on the 4000 rpm mark that's where the adventure was smoother but maybe not this one okay around 3000 rpm it is manageable the vibrations are like bussy as i mentioned before not any other kind brakes are good but i feel it could be better suspension setup is good but anyway we will try that in another section which is coming soon so far yeah it's definitely a bit on the stiff side but it aids in handling a lot so i have no complaints here so once again i want to make it clear that i know these roads which is why i am driving a bit uh, too engaging in manner please don't do this in small roads like this because you could be one small step away from disaster for your life and someone else's life as well so i'm not encouraging anyone to ride in a super fast manner and you can ride fast but just be sensible that's the point i'm trying to make anyway hopefully this will be an open stretch let's i'm sitting backwards let's try to go as fast as possible okay there are crosswinds and i don't know if you noticed but the bike was 
shaken a bit so I didn't like that feeling so the bike was wobbling yeah it's wobbling again so that's apparently I believe it's due to the crosswinds and it had nothing to do with the bike okay now comes the part where there are potholes so I'll get to feel the suspension of how it is so can it normal Indian potholes can it handle normal Indian potholes it's good and since the bike is small you can find these small bits and pieces where there is unbroken road and you can do that suspension is definitely on the stiffer side but not too stiff or anything so you will not feel like you are breaking your back it's definitely stiff and you can feel the hits so that's about suspension but the setup for handling with a reference to suspension it's amazing it's good it's really good so definitely do like that so this is an impressions video so first ride impression video i cannot do reviews just by one ride so yeah these are paved roads with cement blocks so in this road suspension is really good you don't feel anything you can definitely feel the tires bouncing the feeling you get when you drive on these roads but it doesn't transfer over to your body so that's nice on a rattly road there is nothing rattling so i think it's well built i really do like the improvement on the switch gear we'll stop here it was easy to find the neutral <laughs> i'm surprised i don't like how there is a gap around this section i would have liked it to be flush close there would definitely be some drain facility but if water gets stuck in here there is every possibility of rust the jigsaw 150 that i owned had that issue i gave it to my cousin and he has ran into a big issue recently so i don't like the design of this and i don't like how it doesn't sit flush and one side is this much there is only this much gap whereas the other side has this much gap so not so great in this department maybe small nitpicking but i think people should know about this uh, for a bike that has ran just 737 kilometers i don't like this much play on the brakes you can see how much it goes possibly why i felt that the brakes could be better this these sections i do like them it looks aesthetically good but cleaning here will be a bit of a nightmare that's just a point that i wanted to make uh, not nothing against the bike or how it rides or something so i was uh, just checking the overall build quality and i'm impressed compared to the adventure series this is a well put out bike so dukes are really built differently i believe so Maybe with age there could be some issues but as of now there are not much of build quality issues that I can observe that are observable other than that fuel tank thing I have pointed out because the switch gear unit everything is in place set properly looks good feels good the buttons are tactile you can feel the clicks there is a lot of wind so I am not sure if you were able to hear that so overall the build quality looks fine at least as of now and regarding the pillion seat it's wide it's really wide it's almost as much as the rider seat to be honest so maybe this width so it's lengthy uh, it's not wide per se but if you are sitting around here, I think it's fine. But if your bottoms are large, then maybe it could be an issue. But still, better than those dukes of the old where seats were horrendous. I still remember sitting on the first generation duke. I believe it was the 200 uh, on the passenger seat, the rear seat. And I got leg cramps. 
Well, to sum it up, let's say that this bike is also like the Duke 390 with a dual characteristic. So this is me at third gear. Let me shift to fourth. And you can just cruise like this in fourth gear at 30 kilometers per hour, 29 kilometers per hour. No engine knocking, no issues. It can be smooth, soft. So that is one character. The other character is when you push the bike. So in first gear, you can go all the way till 8,000, 10,000 RPM. And it's just another feeling. So that's what I mean by dual characteristics. Not all bikes can do that, to be honest, because uh, it feels strained, some bikes. So it doesn't feel strained. And another thing is that when you're riding like this in third gear at 20 kilometers per hour, and you give it some throttle, it can definitely pick off. Not as fast as the Duke 390. So engine is not that responsive when you compare it to the 390. And I'm just uh, comparing it to the 390 because I've uh, driven it, sorry, ridden it recently. And because some people might be interested in comparing with a different capacity engine as well. In the 390 video, I've mentioned that that is not for entirely beginners. So newbies or noobs. So, but this one is a good pick for noobs because this doesn't have that raw power. It does pull you, but not that kind of way. Then coming to suspension, as I've gone through this road, I mentioned before that it's fine. It's definitely on the stiffer side, just like a KTM. So that's fine because if it's super soft, then it comes at the expense of handling. When it comes to brakes, I definitely feel that brakes could be better. Uh, it's not like the brakes on the 390 Duke. Coming to handling, this is sharp and agile. You can make sudden twists and turns. And it's really fun in that way. It's really, really good. The handling is really good. So the Duke series handling is top notch in my opinion. If you are a mature rider who likes to have some fun occasionally, the 390 is for you, not the 250. Because only mature riders can handle that kind of a fun. Well, that's about it for my observations with the initial ride of the KTM Duke 250. I personally felt that the 390 video was a bit long, bit too long. So, which is why I want to make it short and concise after all it's an impressions video so i don't think you need to hear me blabber a lot about the points repeatedly so i love this bike so if you are in the market for something let's say a calmer one but definitely loves to rev and still you can rev it up like crazy this bike is for you but if you want more fun more engaging manner absolute raw power at times then spend more money and get the duke 390 so this is based purely based on the impressions all right i don't think uh, i have much more to say i think i've covered all the points in case i've missed something and you want to know about something do let me know well that's about it folks and thank you thanks a lot for tuning in my videos are not going, doing that well, but thanks again for your massive support because without every individual view, I would not have reached at least here. So thank you so much. Stay awesome and ride safe.